He wants to give you gifts. And listen to this. If you want to receive gifts from Abba Father, you just need to rest. All right. Gifts are not earned. They are received. I believe the, this month of May, it's a month of rest, uh, it's a month of resetting, and it's a month of uh, relaunching, okay? It is a month of uh, rest, reset, and relaunch. Um, I believe that the month of May is a month of preparation, okay? And I'm going to teach and I'm going to give you some truth here, all right? If you're ready for this, give me some thumbs up and some hearts and likes, I know it's uh, May 13th right now, so I may be a little late on the prophetic broadcasting bandwagon. Uh, but of course, I'm never late in Jesus' name. Uh, but I believe the month of May is a month of rest, reset, and relaunching. Okay, Of course, uh, in the Gregorian calendar, May is the fifth month of the year. We already know that five in the Hebrew stands for grace. Grace on your face, bam, bam, bam. And I believe in this month, you got to hear me. I believe that in this month of May, there's graces being released. The grace, which is the favor, the endowment, the power, the anointing of God. In this month of May, in this uh, May window, May, 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 there is a grace that is being released over your life. There is uh, an anointing. God wants to smear you up. God wants to rub it in. He wants to anoint you. In this month of May, there's an unusual grace where He's giving you graces. He's giving you, uh, He's wanting to lather you up. He's wanting to anoint you. He's wanting to build you up, strengthen you. So I believe the month of May, which is the fifth month of the year, five in the Hebrew, which stands for grace. God wants to give you graces. Which in the, in the Greek it means the grace of God or the charismata. He wants to give you gifts. He wants to give you gifts. And listen to this. If you want to receive gifts from Abba Father, you just need to rest. All right. Gifts are not earned. They are received. All right. Rewards are earned. Wages are earned. Payments are earned. But gifts are received. So I believe in this month of May, he's putting things to rest. He's settling things in the spirit and he's saying, I want you to rest and I want you to reset. I want you to recalibrate. He's moving things around as you rest in him, as you enjoy the communion, the Shabbat, Shalom, the Shalom of God. As you rest in the Lord, he will reset and he's about to relaunch you because the month of June, hear this, the month of June is Pentecost month. It is the month of Shavuot. It is the month of Pentecost in the month of June. So he's preparing you. He's getting you ready to relaunch you. And he's about to cause you to enter into Pentecost. That's why today I want to talk about preparation for Pentecost. Because this month in the Hebrew is actually E-R. I-Y-A-R. E-R. Somebody write that down here. It is the month of E-R. And in this month of May, or in the Hebraic month, which is E-R, E-R stands for preparation. E-R stands for after Passover and in between and before Pentecost. So right now, we are in a time frame. We are in a window. We are in a 40 50 day window right now this month this window is called er from passover to pentecost passover to shavuot pentecost which is shavuot in the hebrew name we are in the time frame of passover to pentecost we are in that 50 day 49 day window of uh, uh which is now called er and which is the preparation say preparation I believe that God is preparing you for Pentecost. I believe that God is preparing you for revival, Holy Ghost, fire. He is preparing you for a baptism of the law of God, the law of grace, the law of Jesus Christ, not of Moses, but he's preparing you for a baptism of the greater glory. So catch this. Passover was the first fruits of harvest. Pentecost is a celebration of harvest. That's why in the days of Moses in Pentecost or Pentateuch, Pentateuch, which also stands for the law of God, the law of Moses, you follow me, P 
Pentecost was a celebration of the barley and the wheat harvest. That was the same time Moses received the law. That was the same time. So whenever we have the, the feasts of God, that is an ordained time of harvest. An agricultural, you got to hear me people. It is an agricultural time and season of harvest. So what the seven feasts, the seven biblical feasts of God has to do with agricultural harvest, which means that Passover was not only prophetic about Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, being the Passover Lamb of God, but it also stands for your agricultural harvest, springtime and harvest. It stands for the first fruits of harvest. So now from Passover, now you're collecting your finances. You're collecting your agriculture. You're collecting the things that are due to you in Jesus name because that's what Jesus does he's a kinsman redeemer you follow me so Passover was the first fruits now we're in preparation we are in preparation so ER in the Hebrew it literally means this I hope you hear me ER means preparation ER in the Hebrew means to collect and to gather it means to collect and to gather I hope you hear me ER in the Hebrew means to collect and to gather. And that's why in this month, May or ER in the Hebrew, we are collecting, we are gathering, we are resting, we are resetting, we are collecting the sheaves, we're gathering the last and the lost pieces, we're gathering, we're collecting ourselves, we're bringing ourselves together, we're collecting the things that were lost, that were invested, that were deposited, that were left behind, that were left over. And in this month time frame of ER, we're collecting why? Because as we accumulate and gather together, we are preparing for the bundle of Pentecost, fire and glory and baptism, bam, all around the world. That's the month we're in right now. That's why many of you are feeling this unusual grace where you don't need to plow. You're feeling this unusual grace where you, you could just rest. You could just enjoy um, there's something supernatural that God's doing in this month because he's preparing you for Pentecost. He's preparing you for Pentecost harvest and glory. He's getting you ready, people of God. So I want to tell you in the spirit, do not expend yourself. Rest, reset, and relaunch. That's why I know for myself, a uh, personal example, because what the Lord's told me, and it all makes sense in the timeline of heaven. Do you not know that there is a timeline in heaven? Do you not know that there's a timeline on earth? Do you not know that there's times and seasons for all things? The book of Ecclesiastes says that there's a time on earth for everything under the sun. There's a time, an appointed time. There's a date for your divine destiny that God wants to release and manifest on the earth. And that's why for me in this month, in, in the month of May, I'm home uh, a lot. I'm uh, home in Los Angeles, in Southern California, in Orange County. I'm all around Southern California because the Lord wants me to rest before the month of June. The Lord wants me to rest. You got to hear this. The Lord wants me. He wants you. He wants me to rest in the month of June. Be home. Uh, because April was crazy. You know, I was in Hawaii. I was in Canada. Hesperia. Orlando. Las Vegas. April was wildfire. April was a month of wildfire. Starting pockets of revival. Starting little wildfires. Burst sparks of revival everywhere. It was awesome. It was powerful. And uh, now May, the Lord wants me to rest. The Lord wants me to rest. And I believe even uh, in this month of May, the Lord's going to relaunch. What does that mean? As you are resting, then you come into a place of reflection and remembrance. And as you are resting, the Lord's going to relaunch certain dreams, relaunch certain gifts, relaunch certain words. That's why in this month, I'm going to start writing a new book. In this month, I'm going to start working on releasing my third book. In this month, I'm working on a number of different things because month is a month to get ready. May is a month to get ready. May ER is a month to gather, collect, collect yourselves, gather yourselves, prepare yourselves. Because the month of June, which is the new month in the Hebraic, which is Pentecost and Shavuot. God is about to release his Pentecost fire. God's about to release his Pentecost glory. 
So God wants to collect yourself. So let me teach a little bit deeper here. ER also stands for the second Passover. If you miss the first Passover, there's a second Passover, which means that there's an open heaven and an open window for God to visit you again. If you felt like you missed God in the first Passover, then he will visit you in the second. God is a God of second chances. God is a God of third, fourth, fifth chances. And he will visit you again. It's a second Passover. Catch this. In the ER month in the Hebraic, which is right now we're in May. In the ER month, it is a month in a time frame where the Israelites would begin to gather themselves as they were in the wilderness. They were gathering themselves. They were preparing themselves. Fast forward. In the days of Jesus, Jesus is appearing to his disciples for the next 40 days which is now. Jesus is appearing to his disciples. And in that time, his disciples are gathering themselves. They're reflecting. Jesus died. He was crucified. And many of them betrayed Jesus. And so they're gathering, collecting themselves. They are reflecting. And they are getting encountered by the living God. And Jesus in that time frame is manifesting and appearing to his disciples and to certain key people in this time frame. This is why in this month, in this time, it's important for you to gather yourself, collect yourself, reflect, remember, give God thanks, prepare your soul yourself for the Pentecost. Because when Pentecost fire came, we all know, there was 120 gathered in unity and oneness. That's what God's doing right now. He's preparing us. For that oneness and for that unity. For that accumulated pinnacle glory mountaintop. For bam, the fire of God to fall. And I do believe right now God is preparing you. I do believe God is pruning you. He's dealing with your heart. He's patting up certain things. He's revising. He's revisiting. He's visiting. He's enlightening. He's touching. He's healing. He's mending. Amen. He's doing it right now. So rest in this month, people of God. In this month of May, rest. Get reset. Get relaunched. Because we are in a time frame from Passover to Pentecost where you are being prepared. You are being prepared right now. So rest. Pull yourself back. Enjoy. Rest. Shabbat with the Lord. Meditate. Reflect. Because you are about to get relaunched. I want to pray for you here. And I do invite you tomorrow at 3 p.m. PST. I'm going to be live with my friend David Digger Hernandez. It's actually my first time doing a Facebook Live um, with David Digger Hernandez. It's going to be awesome at 3 p.m. PST. Somebody write that down here. At 3 p.m. PST with David Digger Hernandez. And then on Wednesday, say Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, I have David Herzog at 3 p.m. PST. And then on Thursday, I have Nate Johnston at 3 p.m. PST as well. It's going to be awesome. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the healing glory. All right? It's going to be awesome. We're going to talk about the healing glory and how the glory, the presence, the goodness, the nature of God is healer. He is healer. So if you need healing in your body, tomorrow especially is for you. If you need healing in your finances, listen, listen. I've already taught on this. and This is what my newest book that I'm working on. This is what it's about. The same anointing that can heal the body is the same anointing that will heal your finances. The same anointing that will heal your physical soul is the same anointing that will heal the government of America. Individual realm to a corporate realm. And uh, that's what my, my newest book that I'm going to start writing, that's what it's called, Supernatural Wealth Creation. I'm really excited about that. But I want you to write here below, people. Did this word speak to you? Does this make sense? Is this a confirmation for you? Do you have any questions? We are in the month of May, which is the month of ER, preparation for Pentecost. And I celebrate and I salute all of you mamas, all of you mothers, spiritual and natural. I salute you. Uh, I always say that mothers are the most powerful creatures on earth. And uh, thank God for the mamas, the modern day mamas, Dr. Michelle Corral, Pastor Suzanne Hinn, God bless you, I love you, I salute you, my own mother, Crystal Lynn, 
uh, you know, Catherine Coleman, Amy Sumpa McPherson, Juanita Bynum, uh, Julianne Pinter, uh, you know, uh, Maria Woodward Edder. And I salute all of you mamas, all of you powerful women of God. Amen. And actually next Monday, I'm going to be live with Fiorella Giordano. And we're going to talk about the glory of an intercessor. Amen. But I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you here because I believe we're in a month of preparation. We're in a month of rest, reset, and relaunch and preparation. Father, I pray for all of my friends here. I pray that you will touch them, you will anoint them, you will visit them. And I pray that from now till the month of June, from now till the end of May, that you will anoint them, you will touch them, you will heal them. Mora Baba, I pray for the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come and cover them, Lord. And I pray for a spirit to gather, to uh, culminate, to collect. I hear the Lord saying this. Collect yourself, gather yourself, prepare yourself for Pentecost fire and glory. Ah, ma, 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 ma. Father, I bless every single woman here, every single man. Bless all the mothers here. And I thank you, Father, that even 40 years ago from May 17th, May 17, 1948, was the beginning of the Jesus People Movement. And I believe that May 17th, it was Mother's Day. May 17th was Mother's Day. So, Father, I say, Jesus People Movement, do it again, Lord. Do it again, Father. Do it again. Hallelujah. Ma, ma, ma. And as you rest and reset, may you be relaunched. As you prepare, may you see the kingdom, power, fire, glory of God launch you forth in Jesus' name. Listen, thanks for watching, y'all. If this blessed you, share this. I love you.